So today we'll be reviewing Showdown, Alex Tellers, 5 foot 11 player, high medium work rates, left footed, 4 star scrim with a 4 star weak foot. Card looks very good from his base stats, 97 pace, 84 shooting, 98 passing, 92 dribbling, 92 defending and 90 physical. For left back to have all them stats, almost all 90, except for the shooting, that is insane. Um, doesn't really have a weakness that I can start with. I would say the shooting, but I've gone with the marksman camp style. Um, just because I will be using him as an attacking left back so he can overlap, use that pace, use the skill moves, the weak foot, use the passing, which is insane. You can't have him a stay back fullback, in my opinion. I think it will be a waste. His dribbling is good, his defending is very good as well, and he could get a boost as well, which is a bit crazy. Now, for for left back, he does have very good shooting traits outside foot shot and a long shot taker. He does have 99 shot power with 96 long shots, 99 curve, so I do expect him to have power driving shots, also speed dribble as well. So that might help him feel a little bit better on the ball. Of course, we'll be using him in one position, and that's going to be a left-back position, or even the left-wing position. And I'll see maybe even left-mid um, in a 3-5-2, just so you can push up higher up the pitch, and see what you can do with the ball, whip some crosses in, even track back as well. Even with that 99 stamina, he won't be getting tired. He can go up and down the pitch the whole game. So I'm looking forward to using this card. It does look insane. Um, I have given him a mark game though, just to boost up the finishing because he will be attacking a lot for us and he might get some chances. So let's jump into the games and see what we can do with Alex Tellers. Tellers, look very good by Salah. Very good tackle on Salah there. 1v1. Lovely slide channel back there. Beautiful, so clean. Tellers with a shot. Tellers outside footed on her left foot. Beautiful. That's for such a nice goal. You used to outside foot right in the top corner. CC Maximin. CC Maximin has such a nice ball. Can we get the goal with Sam Maximin? Sam Maximin with a shot. Not quite. Tell you, we see Pogba back post. That's such a nice cross. Pogba with the header. Lovely by Tellers. Lovely. Look at the acceleration. That pace is crazy. If you can't turn out the back post. That's a good cross. Can't quite get the header on there. But lovely piece of skill there by Tellers. Oh, lovely ball to Sam Maximin. Beautiful ball. Sam Maximin with the chip. Nice goal. That was a good pass there by Tellers. Tellers with a finesse. Not a bad shot there. Tellers, that's a good win. What a tackle that is. From behind, I thought it might be in a foul, but go it cleanly. Tellers, you really well for left back. Tellers with a shot. That would be an insane goal, but it does move really well for left back. Tellers, what a ball by Tellers. Can we get the goal? Not quite. Oh, well, what a pass by Tellers there. That's insane. Tellers, fan space. Tellers can get the goal. What a finish. Beautiful finish by Alex Tellers. Green time right into the top corner. Tellers in the second half have been trying to change the game. Defending, tackling, and finally getting a goal. So can't tell back balls. Can't tell the header. Don't know how we're having a good goal there. That's such a nice cross by Tellers. Tellers again, using that piece. Finding Pogba inside. Pogba can we get the goal, we can. Nice simple pass by Alex Tellez and good goal by Pogba. Good win by Kilini. Tellez with the ball, same action, what a pass. What a pass by Alex Tellez. Beautiful. And a beautiful finish by a same action. But you can just see the passing there by Alex Tellez. Wow. Tellez, good tackle. See some action as well, can play that pass. Can we play it? Oh, not quite. Yeah, yeah, send him. Send him as well. You see Sam Maximin can get a pass through. We can. That's such a nice pass. Skip the keeper. That should be a simple assist. But oh my god, we end up missing it. How we missed that? Oh, we end up getting the goal there with Pelly. I don't know how I missed that with Sam Maximin. Would have been a good assist for Tellers. But we do end up getting the goal. Lovely piece of skill. Tellers from there. No way. Tellers with the finesse shot off the crossbar. Tellez, good tackle there. Tellez, good block as well. Good, good defensive display there from Tellez. Again, overlapping. Tellez, ripping the box. Sam Maximin, beautiful assist by Tellez. The accuracy on that pass and the power, all perfect. Pele, nice and pass. Pele with the finesse shot. Should be a goal and it is. Can't really place Alex Tellez for that too much. It is a simple pass, but he, he does get another assist to Tellez. Tellers again with another slight challenge. Couldn't quite get the ball there, but he just take the man out. Tellers, lovely clean challenge. No. 
I don't think that's a yellow card. I think he gets the wall really cleanly there. Just get. You had done by the referee. And I think there's a clean challenge there by Alex Tillis. Tillis. Tillis is banging from there. Tillis with a shot. Wow, what a goal. What a goal by Alex Tillis. Keeper was slightly off his line, but still from there. Green timed. Absolutely beautiful. What a goal. That's why I say he's not just a left back. He can do so much more. Tellez, look at that far pass. Outside of the boot. What a pass by Alex Tellez. Can we get a goal? Get the chip there with Sam Maximin? Not quite. Can't quite get the goal, but what a pass by Tellez. Yes. Nice pair of free kicks. Tellez with a free kick. Not by the attempt from that far out. So it's time to review short down Alex Tellez. We ended up playing seven games of card and scoring three goals and coming out with five assists. Now, to get eight goal involvements as an attacking left back in the elite division and in foot champs qualification, that is crazy. That is very good. Um, I didn't expect to make as many goal involvements. I was expecting maybe two goals and two assists, but he was overlapping so well. And I didn't even find myself having to find him on purpose. He was just always in the right place at the right time and I was switching play, finding him, making good runs, overlapping, and just being such a nuisance for the, for the opponent. And you're just finding so, so much space to attack, to score. And even defensively, he was very good. The pace, you can feel it. The pace was insane. It felt like 9 acceleration and 9 spin speed. Maybe because of his body tapping game. He, he isn't the tallest and he does feel very lean in game. He's very good. Once he got going, there was no stopping him. Now, his shooting, his shooting did take me by surprise. Of course, the shot power and long shots, you do expect to be very good. But the finishing, I think he did score two or three chances inside the box. As a left back, you don't really expect him to put them away as clinically as he did, but it was so good. Shot power, the accuracy, one shot flew right in the top bin. Keeper gonna save it, level right on the left side of the box, and it was very good. And the attack position didn't feel easy, it felt much higher. The passing, we, we got about how many five assists? Or I think all five of them were insane. Over the top balls, left foot, outside the foot. He could have got so many more assists. Uh, I messed up quite a few times. The attackers couldn't quite finish it. He could have easily had 10 assists in 7 games, creating so much. Easily one of the most creative left backs I've used on the game. And it could be scary because he could release a could receive a plus 2 boost, which will be very good for Tellers. The dribbling. The dribbling, I think, was his weakness. Not to say he felt stiff on the ball, um, but he didn't really feel as smooth as he could. I mean, he did, he did move very good at times. I think the marksman came down did help him out a lot. Of course, I mean, 99 reactions, 99 book control, and 99 dribbling was good. But at times, I would say, at times, his balance didn't really help him out. Um, but not to say he felt bad on the ball. He felt very good for left-back. Um, weaving in and out of challenges most of the time. And being a nuisance, again, like I said, for the centre-backs and the full-backs. And for, even for the midfielders, as he was bobbing high up. Now, the defending, defending was a strong point. I didn't even touch it, and it was very good. The interceptions, defensive awareness, stand tackle and stand tackle, all very good. Nothing bad to say about his defending. And like I said before, if he does get a plus to upgrade, that defending would easily be 96, 97, I do think. Now the physicals, the marksman camp style, I think, made him feel very strong. Of course, with 92 strength, 96 aggression, he was bodying plays off the ball, felt strong and very good. Again, nothing bad to say about the physicals or the defending and the pace. So I think in them three departments, as a defender, he's elite. And like I said, upgrade, easy, could be one of the best left back in the games. In the game, um, right now, I think as an attacking fullback, there aren't that many good options. There's, of course, Cancelo, Roberto Carlos, Alfonso Davies, yes, but I think Tellers provides something different with that passing, the crossing, the shooting, the traits. And I do think with that plus two, he'll be a crazy, crazy fullback. Yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will be releasing a lot more reviews, so stay tuned.